good evening. Uh, we had planned that the mayor would be here in time to do this presentation, but we didn't know how long the Common Council was going to take this evening, but he did manage to get here, so Mayor Vanderstein, would you like to stand up and wave? It's so my honor to do this presentation for him. Uh, I'm, I'm Jim Groff, the chairperson of the Mayor's International Committee. Good evening to you all, and on behalf of the Mayor and the Mayor's International Committee, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the UW Varsity Band Concert. The Mayor's International Committee's mission is to foster the sister city relationships with Esslingen, Germany, and Tsubami, Japan, and associated student exchanges throughout the year. We would like to thank our featured sponsor, the Sheboygan Progressive Care Center, along with the following supporting sponsors, the Sheboygan Press, Midwest Communications, WHBL, The Point, and the E93 FM, Festival Foods, Johnsonville Sausage, Johnston Bakery, Trinity Lutheran School and Church, Lakeside Pepsi, Taste Sheboygan. Please also patronize our program book and, and ad sponsors. It is with their help um, that these uh, are important sponsors to the Mayor's International Committee uh, and have been able to bring you this enjoyable evening of music and fun. We are proud to welcome the UW Varsity Band and uh, just to give you some more information, this band had just returned from a trip to the Final Four to bring the Badger spirit. <laughs> to bring the Badger spirit, spirit to Arlington, Texas, and support the men's basketball team. We are very proud of the Badger men's basketball team and Coach Bo Ryan, including our local product, Sam Decker. And the job that they've done this past year, reaching a pinnacle in the NCAA March Madness, a trip to the Final Four. <laughs> we now are proud to bring the UW Varsity Band under the direction of Mike Lacron to this stage for your entertainment. And um, here they are, here they are, the UW Varsity Band. <laughs>
and in the final four. They were there. Some of these guys were there for all, all three weeks. And we were there. We're, I know you're very proud of, of uh, Sam, and you well should be. This is a, he, it was a great accomplishment he had this year, and it was a great accomplishment for the team. And, and we're so proud. Now, when we were there, we had a chance to hobnob with a lot of the other schools, and we got a chance to talk with them some of the cheerleaders from uh, Kentucky. <laughs> you know, and, uh, they, were, they were getting teased a little bit about what happen, happens academically, but they taught us a new cheer, a new Kentucky cheer, uh, which we picked up. It said, twinkle, twinkle, little star, we're not as dumb as you think we is. start off with an old tune done by the Who from the rock opera Tommy. This is the theme of the pinball wizard. six of them, but I tease them a lot, but they recently told me, Mike, they said, you need to know that for the first semester, the tuba section had a grade point of 3.87. Uh, that's not the average, that's the total. Mississippi and they said the river or the state. 
Anyhow, we've played this. We've played this the last three or four weeks in a row, everywhere we've been. You'll recognize it here in Sheboygan. You can dance and sing along. It's perfectly permissible here in the aisles. Here we go. Jump up and holler, hey. You know that song? Nod your heads if you're hearing me, okay? <laughs> Let's try it. A letter B. Letter B. One, two, and a one, two, three. instructions were to jump up and holler hey. Let's try it for this guy right here. Cheap seats, you can do it too.
study and read about pop music, and, and I particularly like to read about the rock and roll period. And in the early days of rock, you remember the rock and roll period, don't you, lady? <laughs> Backseat of a 56 Chevrolet, remember? <laughs> and roll, it was all men. It was a man's world. Elvis, Little Richard, Chuck Berry. And then a few years after that happened, a woman named Little Eva came along to the tune called The Locomotion, and the doors started to open for women. Aretha Franklin came along with respect and tunes like that. And there were the girl groups that sang the doo-wop. And they had a wonderful songwriter named Ellie Greenwich who wrote a great motorcycle song called Leader of the Pack. And then there was, there was another great songwriter named Carol King. So we've put together a medley of songs that salute the women of rock and roll. I knew I'd get on the side of about 50% of you. These are the divas of rock.
One hit wonders include people like Wild Cherry, who had a funky kind of a tune and never came back from that. Steve Martin, the great comedian, had a one hit wonder. Only one record. Randy Newman, the great songwriter, had a lot of songs that made hits, but his singing only made one time. So here's a medley, a tribute to those people who worked very hard, but only made it one time. But for many of them, that might have been enough. The one hit wonders.
doing our concert and it's the it's the high point of our year as a band because it gives us a chance to exploit everything about the Cole Center and it gives us a chance to celebrate 40 years this is the 40th year we've done the varsity band concert and uh, much of the evening is going to be talk about nostalgia and we've got a lot of people coming back that were part of the band in the old days and uh, it's 
a fun time, but I wanted to make it a special celebration. And it so happens there's another 50-year celebration going on this year for a group that probably changed the course of popular music more than any other single group. And I speak of the Beatles. The Beatles are celebrating 50 years this year. And I thought it would be only appropriate to, on our concerts and during our, our final concerts this year, to salute the Beatles for their 50 years of, of entertainment. We haven't quite come up to that 50 year mark yet, but this is a tribute to 50 years of the Fabulous Four.
there's a particular style of music that I enjoy a great deal, and we haven't played any of it tonight. It's music from the big band era, the swing era, and there have been a lot of great bands from that area that I really appreciate, the Benny Goodmans and the Tommy Dorseys and Glenn Millers and all that, but the one band that always stands out in my mind is the Duke Ellington's great band. I mean, Duke Ellington not only wrote wonderful music, but his band played almost any style you could ask for. <laughs> As a part of their show, Duke had written a song called Caravan, along with his trombone player, Juan Paisal, and he featured a great drummer that he had then, a guy named Sonny Greer. We don't have Sonny Greer with us tonight. We do have Tommy Johnson, though. Tommy's one of our seniors, and we're going to try to recreate a little bit of the style and the mood that Duke Ellington presented when he played, and almost every other band in the era eventually had an arrangement of Caravan featuring the drummer. This is Duke Ellington's Caravan.
There's another 50th anniversary that we're trying to uh, observe this year along with the Beatles, and that's the anniversary of one of America's and the world, perhaps, favorite movie hero, Bond, James Bond. <laughs> 50 years ago, Sean Connery introduced that character, and a lot of people have played it since, but not did it quite as well as Connery, I don't think, but the rest of them have all been very good in their own way. But one thing I like about the, the Bond film or the, is the music, those great themes that they had. They had people like John Barry write the themes. Paul McCartney wrote one of the themes. Carly Simon, Adele. So we've put together a salute to the 50 years of Bond, because we haven't gotten there yet. This is our salute to 007.
uh, at this point in the program, I usually like to take a minute and introduce some of the people who are in the band from the area. And uh, we have a number of people in the, the list that was handed to me. But before I do, I want to take just a minute to pay my respects to Jeff Parks. A long time. I know Jeff is in the audience out there someplace. He brought his fan club. <laughs> uh, Jeff, a uh, long time conductor in Sheboygan North, and everybody in the state who knows about music knows about his work there, and knows what a great job he's done. He's heading towards retirement, and we, everybody from the Wisconsin band and everybody I know in the audience here at Sheboygan wishes you the very best and much success as in your retirement as you've had in your career. Jeff, congratulations and best wishes for the time. Now here's some people from the band. Carl Nimmers from Plymouth. That's Carl on that end. He'd like to say hi to his family and friends. He also has his, the best grandmother. No, you don't. I do. Mm. Trevor Schuler's from Howard's Grove, right there in the trumpet section. He'd like to say hi to Amy's family. Well, who's Amy? Oh, that Amy. Okay. Okay. And also, Mom, I need money. There's Amy. Amy Thillick is also from Howard's Grove. I'd like to say hi to Trevor's parents. Like Romas's dad is the fire chief of Sheboygan. Wanted to say hi. Good! Fire chief? You didn't never tell me that. Cat, oh, I wish she wouldn't even I wish she would even sign this out, but. Prubanda, how'd I do? Prubanda, Kat Prubanda was not from here, but she wanted to say hi to Kate's mom and dad. <laughs> Lindsay Raleigh is from Cleveland. Caitlin Krasiniak is from Plymouth and likes to say hi to her family. There's Caitlin down in the trombone section. I swear I introduce these two everywhere we go. Adam and Kira Wright Reiko are from Elkhart Lake and like to say hi to their mom. Locked back in there someplace. David Harris is not from here. We would like to say hi and thank his family for attending. David, I'm sorry, I said Harris. Did Harms, David Harms. Uriah Matznik is from Cleveland, would like to say hi to his co co-workers, specifically the Engines Division. Way to go, Today, I didn't know this, today is Tommy Johnson's birthday. All he wants is the hug Mike never gave him as a child. When I was a child or when you were a child. David Britton is from Sheboygan, wants to say hi to the Pots and we're back for dinner, takes the right home. Sean Larson is not from Sheboygan, but likes to say hi to his Aunt Susan, also big Swiss. Well, you and I understand that, but nobody else does. Mike Cook is from, Michael Cook is from Fond du Lac, but this is the closest he'll get. By the way, girls, Mike loves lukewarm walks on Sheboygan's beautiful beaches. Derek Johnson is from Elkhart Lake. He'd like to say hi to Trevor's parents and Amy's family, also Trevor's mom. He'd like to have some money too. Allison Martin is not from here, but would want to apologize for everybody for, I don't understand that at all, for being a ginger one. <laughs> Just a bread here, okay. Allison Martin. And the drummers like to say hi to Tommy's mom. One of one other person I'd like to say hi to, um, I feel like he's a member of the band um, because he's been hanging around us for the last three or four weeks. Todd Decker, about in the audience, I know someplace. Todd, we appreciate what you've done.
tell us to be the rest of those guys. Mr. and Mrs. Todd Decker are here after it. Thanks for being here. We really appreciate you. Well, a lot of I'm on the fifth quarter now.
set a record then. That record has since been broken. Just yesterday, Green Bay, we did one course of the chicken dance in 24.2 seconds. That's a new record by three tenths of a second. Unfortunately, the fire chief, <laughs> the fire chief called me and said, Mike, don't go for a record. It's an old theater. We have to be worried about the safety of the people in the theater. Please do not go for a record on the chicken dance. So I guess, what can I do? What, what, you want me to go against the wishes of the fire chief? And... Let me think about that. Okay, here we go. I've mentioned it several times because I'm still selling tickets for uh, next week's performance in the Kohl Center. One of the things we like to do when we get in that wonderful facility is to use all of the production possibilities that we can to present a bit of musical theater. I mean, we, we can use all sorts of devices, all sorts of stage effects because that, that house warrants it very much because it, it makes everything available to us. So we like to do bits of theater. In the past, we've done Les Miserables, we've done West Side Story. This year, I wanted to keep in the anniversary theme, and one musical production popped out at me right away. It's the longest running show in the history of Broadway, and this year is celebrating its 25th year on Broadway. Well, 25 consecutive years of doing eight shows a week for the last 25 years. I'm speaking of the wonderful musical production of Andrew Lloyd Webber, The Phantom of the Opera. Those of you who know The Phantom of the Opera knows it has wonderful music, wonderful effects. The story is of a grotesquely deformed musician who inhabits the lower regions of the Paris Opera House falls in love with a beautiful soprano, becomes her mentor, leads her to stardom, and then through a series of sometimes very chilling and at the same time very beautiful moments, uh, becomes uh, the protagonist against everybody who's trying to keep the Paris Opera House going. We'd like to present just a small portion of what we're planning to do next week. This is Andrew Lloyd Webber's music, Phantom of the Opera.
We close, as we've closed every concert for the last 40 years, and will always do so as long as I have anything to say about it, was a medley of Wisconsin songs. Isn't this a great time to be in Blanchard?
see you again soon somewhere. Maybe back here sometime soon because you're a terrific audience. Thanks particularly to the people here at this beautiful theater who made us feel so welcome. Uh, but you know, we're going to meet you somewhere. Maybe it'll be, uh, maybe it'll be on the football field next fall. We're going to have a heck of a team, I think, then. <laughs> or maybe it'll be at the Cole Center for basketball and hockey. And you know what kind of a basketball team we're going to have next year. <laughs> Mr. Decker, I'm down on another Final Four trip next year, so go to work on Sam. Or, Maybe at the Cole Center next week when we do our 40th year. Or I've been there six times, and I'd one more time like to see everybody in Pasadena. But wherever it is, we'll see you real soon. And on Wisconsin. <laughs>